I remember when Coors Light used to be cold. Mm, mm, mm. When tractors pulled their weight, mm, mm, and mm. oil was worth more than gold. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's the country I remember, U.S. of A. U.S. of A. When the troops were worshipped and the <laughs> girls would get you laid. Oh, the drop. You weren't prepared for that drop. <laughs> you were left stranded. <laughs> you were supposed to crescendo. <laughs> he, he, tried so hard. he tried so hard to cover it. But that beat slowly faded away from him. He's just like... <laughs> and then it just hit you. Uh, I just know that oh so well. I know that pain. Oh, oh, Ooh. oh, what was that? I don't know. Are we, like, going? Going back, back right. to Cali? You guys are. Yeah. Without True me. True story. Hey! hey! Welcome to the Squad Goals Podcast episode, Trace. Tres. Trace. This episode was brought to you by the number three. And Dunkin' Donuts. America the runs D. on Dunkin'. No Starbucks here. I'm AJ, and to my left, as always. D to the low. And to my right on the soundboard, our special guest. Oh, D to the high. Oh, D high is back. Yeah, I baby. said, as always, and special guest. He got a double title. Yeah. Oh, I don't get a double title. Yeah, that's because you didn't start off as a special guest. You just he was a, staying. Devon was a special guest on the podcast, and he never left. Yeah. I think we're all special. Y'all were like, you know what? We like this kid. We're going to keep him around. Let him do sound. I thought you just had nothing better else to do. I mean, I like it here, you know? It's not bad. This, um, this place feels like home to me. Yeah. Uh, so, I was watching the news the other day. Ooh, and, don't do uh, that. There was a local Depressing. story, uh, something that happened in Tampa, that I thought was like really interesting. And I kind of mm. wanted to know... If you guys were in a similar situation, what would you do? So, I don't know all the details of this story. Mm. I was kind of... The sound wasn't on. Mm. You watched it without you, sound? That's probably the most depressing thing. Oh, did it have subtitles at least? Um, it was the most depressing uh, thing. Well, the sound was really low. Uh, I kind of the little ticker at the bottom. I picked up on enough. And even he if I get it wrong... <laughs> even if I get the story wrong, the story's irrelevant. It was more, I wanted to ask you what you would do in this situation. Whether So on the news, I saw a story. A guy bought a couch from Habitat, uh, Habitat of Humanity. And um, he, I guess, opened up a couch oh, cushion. Yeah. And found $43,000 cash. Cash. That's that drug money. In the couch cushion. Yeah. And he returned it. And found the original owner of the couch and gave it back to him. And he's like, I needed the money, but it, I feel better knowing that they have it. So the wow. question was. What a Samaritan. <laughs> hey, man, I found that guy is... I found $9,000 in your couch. <laughs> said, what a Samaritan. <laughs> not a good Samaritan, Yo, not dude, a bad Samaritan, just nah. a Samaritan. Hey, man, I found 20 bucks in this couch and I wanted to make sure that you had it. He... <laughs> hey, man. That was drug money, I found a all. dollar in this couch, and yeah, I wanted to little, make sure you found it. Little does he know, it was actually like $90,000. Yeah. There's $100,000 in there. He Yo, just turned in one cushion. So I, what would you do? You bought buy a no, couch? There's no way I'm returning that. Yeah. I got $40,000. You had a couch. 47. What was it, 47? It was 26. Oh, 26. Yep. It's mine now. He's, he's adding more. He's copying them. I got 40. Huh. I have $43,000 and a new couch. It was twenty six thousand. Yeah. I, I don't know. Tw- I have twenty six thousand dollars and a new couch. Everyone I mean, keeps you, on naming out you, different you, prices. You paid for the couch. It's your. Couch I have a hundred thousand dollars and two couches. But what if and like a Ferrari? What if someone really like they needed that money? How do you forget, obviously? How yeah. do you forget twenty thousand dollars in your yeah. couch if you if, need if it? they're elderly? I need money. No. I can't forget five dollars. What, what if it? I can't forget a quarter. Let's say if it was a relative of yours' couch, they okay. passed away. Mm-hmm. And that money belongs to you. Why didn't and you they did, tell me? 
There's was, no, there's maybe, no way they needed that badly if yeah. they if they forgot about you, it. They don't, they don't. Maybe they don't have money in the I, bank. I, I don't. Was, I don't know. I watch the news with the, the so, sound off, so I don't so, know the details. So you're returning it. Ignorance is. There is no way you're returning. I would probably return like you're half. Such, I, I would probably yeah. return half. If you're, if you're but what if they half, get mad because you return half and yeah, then they sue you for the rest of it? If you return half, <laughs> now you, then you might as well not return anything yeah, at all because that's you're, disrespectful. You're a thief regardless. Yeah, it's like oh, so you just think you can spend my money and then give it back? I'll be like, uh, there's a fifty percent fire. I won't. I wouldn't be coy about it. Going like, I only found uh, twelve thousand dollars. No, I would be like, but Hey, drug, I'm giving you twelve thousand. What if it's a drug cartel and they're like, Nah, you're gonna give us the rest of our money? It, 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 I think it ended up being an elderly person. But once again, I was watching the news with the sound off, so I don't. What is an elderly person? AJ, need was, with $26, AJ was saying that because he's being recorded. There's no way money is for I news. probably would have kept half. I, you're I'm a, gonna say yo, you're a liar. So you yeah. wouldn't. Ret- you would return the money? No, I will not return the money. I'm, it's I pay for the couch. It's my couch. Who's my what money. money? What money? What money? You just see me driving in a new Tesla. You just be like, how did you get that? I be like, I don't know. I got a couch too. My, my- I, I think I think it would be different too if I seen like if I seen the person turn it in turn in the couch and then you know I bought the couch and I seen who it was. But as far as I'm concerned, yeah. it's mine. This could belong to Hitler's great son, grandson. So this person seek the person out. The who well, he the couch. went back to the Habitat Center and. Like, I guess you have your name when you turn something in to sell. Yeah. And he was able to track it down. Uh, once again, I watched the news with the sound off. I'm going to read. Maybe he never found them. I don't know. But I think he did. And he's like, I needed this money really bad. But I, at least I can sleep at night knowing yeah. that it went back to who. You I would have been sleeping on a, on a brand new been, bed. And I would have been sleeping a real comfortable I, night. From mattress, what I remember, I don't think he got any of the money. Mattress for sure. Purple mattress with <laughs> nah, money I'll get, covers. I'll, I'll get. <laughs> I'll get a sleep number. I don't. I don't think. I don't think the person gave him any money, like, like for a reward. That was like the slap in the face. Like yeah. if yeah. if you give me twenty thousand dollars that I lost, I'm, Yo, I'm gonna break you off at that, least that's five. Why, that's like, why I don't really. That's I don't know. Like people are like scumbags like that. They're not, they're not. A, I want to say scumbags, but they're not appreciated not sometimes. Appreciated. You know. It's like you know how hard it was for me not to just steal your money. But he's how, not even stealing because I found it. That had to be I an uncomfortable come. couch. It's lumpy. It's a very lumpy couch. My okay. question is, how do you how do you forget? It was forty three thousand because you said forty three thousand and then you started telling us. Yeah, I thought yeah. you said it in the beginning. I was like, was, I swore you said forty three thousand. I, I swear I read well, forty three. I'm gonna play back right now what I said originally. Found forty three thousand dollars cash. And I can tell you, I said twenty three thousand. Hey, you uh, want to you want to put a, a gentleman's bed on it? Sure. Don't do no editing tricks. <laughs> yeah, nah. You, yeah. you know he'd be playing. What do you want to bet? A gen- uh, just gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, it was forty three thousand dollars in a couch cushion. Nah, bet bet the number that he said to begin with. It was yeah. in Michigan. Oh, that is. You said it was local. I am. All I, over I the had, place. I, <laughs> you don't know where <laughs> I'm from. <laughs> was it even that the human, uh, human uh, society? What else, what's Habitat it called? for Humanity? Habitat of Humanity? I think it was a Goodwill. <laughs> Once again, I it said the, Kmart. I said the, the sound was off and I read nah, the I'm lower. I read the lower third graphic. He doesn't <laughs> want to tell you where it's from because he wants to increase his chances of maybe finding that money too. Or money uh, like that. He did keep the cash. He kept the couch. He kept and he's like, but wow. hey, I bought this couch. Yeah, he was probably like, that couch, the couch is nice. I, I bought I wanted, it. I wanted the couch for but a reason. I don't need the money. You can have uh, the money. It was clearly, the person didn't. Want I tried to, to lay down, and a hundred slapped me in my eye. And what uh, if, what if the guy was just trying to bless somebody? He said, "I want to go." Oh, like, and he put the couch. Yeah. Like, uh, he here's a quote though. I always thought, what would I do if that ever happened? And now I know, and it makes me feel good. But. To be mm. a dummy? No, nah, I know why he did it. You big dummy? I know why he did it. Oh, see, it was someone's grandfather who died, and the money was in the couch, and they didn't know about it, so they were selling his stuff. Um, they should have you always check the cushions, They should have checked. And I think it was... They a didn't good... say, hey, man, damn, this old lumpy couch. No, it, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, too. It that... was Habitat for Humanity. They didn't clean the couch, either, so that's a problem in itself. Yeah. It was it was why Habitat you for, dirty for Humanity. For and, At um, least you can do is clean it up. Yeah, fluff a, fluff a uh, mattress here and there. But, like, how a uncomfortable cushion. was that couch if it just, like, loaded with money? It's $43,000 worth of comfort right here. 
<laughs> Benji never felt so I don't so know. I, 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 I'm sleeping on that kind of See, money? Or blue sitting face, on that money? Baby. No, they probably, the game. They're probably it, green faces. It was Habitat oh, yeah. for Humanity. If it was Goodwill, I, I would say screw the guy for shopping at Goodwill. Don't shop at Goodwill. Why not? Uh, It's like a billion dollar company. It's like basically if Walmart Built went... off of Goodwill. But if it was just like if Walmart went, hey, we don't want to buy things to sell you. So how about you just give us stuff and we'll sell it to people for a profit and then we keep the profit. There's no charity aspect. It's a store that you just, they got free stuff and sold it. Wait a minute. Yes, it's a billion dollar company. Wait a minute. Uh, when you give away your Salvation clothes? Army is good. That's okay. a good See, one. Was, that was yeah. what I was attributing Goodwill to. is a, a for-profit business. Mm. They just get free stuff and sell it. Who and told they keep us that money. Goodwill was for the charity? N- no one. But, but the name. The, the name, name Goodwill. I'm telling you, wow. don't shop at Goodwill. Perfect marketing. It's No, Macklemore started Goodwill. That was just thrift shopping. But he said, Goodwill. Pop in tag. I mean, and then every, but, everybody. But, but people going still want to buy stuff for cheap, and Goodwill says it. For well, in, in that you can say that is the aspect yeah. that it's for helping people because there might be lower income people who shop there, yeah, who can buy things that they normally wouldn't be able to afford. Yeah. However, it's yeah. not a charity. Yeah. It no, is no, a no. discount yeah. store. It yeah. is a they discount. market themselves like they are. But it, it's almost like Do saying they wash the clothes. Yeah, they do. They take care of the, the stuff. But it, I think that's the only probably thing that they spend money on, if that's the case. Yeah, in, in employees. But it's yeah. like it would be like saying Dollar General is a charity because they sell cheap things that people like can get for cheap. Yeah. It's like it's not. It, yeah, it's good. The dollar well. Tree is though so misleading. Everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar, and for that, no, they they have some other stuff now. I went in there recently. Yeah, that's I was above about a dollar? wrapping paper. I saw a dollar, it was either Dollar General or Dollar Tree. They had a grocery store. It's right down the street from us. Yeah, the Dollar General? Yeah. Yeah. How is that? I never went in. Is it good? Is it's it, Dollar General. Is it dollar? It's Every, cheap. No, everything's generally a dollar. <laughs> is that what it stands yeah. for? Yeah. Everything is generally a dollar. Like it's like. Four dollars, five dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like it's it's up, it's rounded. I feel like you have your dollar stores. Yeah. And that's like the same as like a Walmart. But right? Dollar Tree is like the OG. Like we'll make sure ninety percent of the store is a dollar. Well, you know how Target's like a little bit better than Walmart. Like yeah. The stuff's a little bit better. It's a little more expensive. The atmosphere is better. I feel like Five Below is like that for dollar like yeah. stores because it's, hey. Everything's gonna be under five dollars, so you're yeah. getting it's gonna be better than yeah. dollar better quality. Yeah, it's it's gonna be better than Dollar Tree. I mean, come on, yeah, you know, it's it's three extra bucks, but hey, Dollar Tree is gonna give you shit for a dollar. That's some some good marketing. But no, go to Dollar Tree for your snacks. Right, but by the uh, movie theater, there's usually always a Dollar Tree or some kind of discount store. Go to your discount store. Yeah, go to the, any, any hood. Don't don't yeah. feed big convenience. There's a Dollar Tree in, in every hood. The AMC uh, in Brandon, AMC Theaters, uh, yeah. for people that don't know, <laughs> uh, there is a candy store literally like next to the ticket booth. Yeah. That's how close it is. And I'm like, that man is a genius, whoever oh. made that, or a woman. And I was, I started thinking, I'm like, I bet whoever owns this AMC like franchise or like is like in charge of this AMC probably owns that candy store. Yeah. But it's out of business. Well... Yeah, people don't really go get candy. Yeah. It was out of business. Well, I mean, you can't bring it into the movie where you're not supposed to. You could bring anything. I once brought, me and my ex-girlfriend once brought Tupperwares of spaghetti into a movie. Wow. Just stinking up the whole (laughs) fucking red sauce. We lived next to the movie theater. We heated it up, put it in the purse, brought it in, brought out forks, and eat spaghetti like a meatball, probably just fucking slurping away. Like I, I think who the one time, these fucking lady so in the tramp wanna be. We, we brought Chipotle, oh, <laughs> or dude. like Moe's burritos. I don't it's just fucking stinking. You up guys the are place. horrible. I don't care actually. About I remember a time we went to see Suicide Squad, and she had mountains of candy out of her bag. Ugh. I was going to the <laughs> concession stand to buy candy. She's like, Nah, yeah. we got nah, you. We're bringing back. We're bringing down for days. Yeah, we went to the dollar That's store like across the street. Bringing down big concession. 
I mean, part of me is torn. Like, I shouldn't say <laughs> that that's, I... That's how they make their money. Because I feel like movie theaters, they only make their money off the concessions. Nah. Nah. I'm down I'm So down there's with like it. there's like a part of me that's like... Raise the ticket prices. Give me my concessions. But, but the, the ticket prices just goes to the studios that made the movie. They so don't... The theater doesn't get a they, cut? They get a small cut. And if you see a movie that's been... It, it's different for every movie. But basically... You see, like, Avengers opening weekend? Yeah. The studio's keeping most of the money. Like, 80%. Yeah, if you see it, Avengers two months after it's been in the theaters, like, the longer the movie's been in the theater, the more the studio gets. So, like, if you go later, mm. like, that's why they kind of keep them a little bit longer. It's kind of like... The studio or the movie theater? The movie, the movie theater. Yeah, keep, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like, it's a... Every deal is probably different, but it kind of, like... They get more of a cut later on, but most of their money is the concession stand. Mm. Yeah. And that's why I'm like... I don't have to do that much. I know. But the A-list, my AMC A-list... <laughs> he likes to flex. That, I mean, it's outrageous, yo, for, for like a Coke. For a, yeah. a Coke and a, a, like a thing uh, of and popcorn. And I agree. And that's why, that's why I'm wow. torn. That's why I'm torn. Because uh, I feel like it does help the business. Well, it's a multi-billion dollar business. But it right. does help theaters in general. If you go to a local theater, you should buy... Concession Sam. However, the A list, you get a lot five dollar off. You get comps. Like right now I have like fifteen dollars off that Ugh. I can spend. Yeah, but you're okay. So yeah. no more, so I no can more buy spaghetti dinners. A sm- <laughs> no, I mean I'll sneak things in that they don't sell. Like what? Like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I bet you that um, right, listen, I'm not gonna get more specific about the brand at AMC. I was gonna be like that pizza dude who's been there for years. Gotta be hot. Yo, the pizza, the pizza, pizza spot <laughs> that, they, that they selling pizza inside now. I bet you he's hot. Oh. He's been sitting there pimping out pizza yeah, for years. It was a pizza place and a candy store and right next to the AMC. And then like, AMC walk- was like, "We'll make you pizza," and I was like, oh. "Now the pizza spot is pretty good, right?" Because they had, yeah, they had a deal where like you could bring the pizza in, and then AMC, wait, what? Yeah, like pardon me when it when I would go. You didn't we, have to sneak in spaghetti? Yeah, me and my me and my family would always go there. The dude even started like to know us a little bit. He'd yeah. be like, oh, what's up? And yeah. yeah, they'd be like, yo, you can bring your pizza in. <laughs> it just has to be that pizza. The, they yeah, had like the, a little deal. And the then pizza's pretty good. AMC was like, nah, we're going to make our own pizza. What what did you get on the pizza? I feel like you're a plain cheese guy. Pepperoni. Oh, yeah, yeah I did know that. I'm I did a, know that. I'm a plain pepperoni guy. You do like pepperoni. Gang, gang, pepperoni. But what, what do you... You, what's your go-to like you're ordering by yourself yeah. a pizza it's your you don't have to like pizza. accommodate other people what do you get if i'm i'm getting a supreme mm. okay so and then i like a cheese just to see you know how good the pizza is because that's how oh so so you're getting two pies for yourself i'm not getting two pies i'm getting two slices okay two slices mm. i like a like a mushroom i'm a mushroom guy uh. mushroom and like a sausage but also i mean all that stuff comes on supreme i i know I With the peppers and onions, I like onions too. I, I guess I do like a supreme, but <laughs> I, I don't. I never order it. I kind of yeah. just pick and choose. You don't want the jalapeno? Not always. I don't um, think jalapeno usually comes on supreme. Doesn't it? it or is that just a different pepper? Olives, I don't get supreme. Olives come. Um, uh, what is it? Pe- pineapple though. I'm oh. a pineapple and pizza type of guy. I am a pepperoni, extra cheese, and cheesy crust type of stuff guy. I'm not a pineapple on pizza. Stuffed crust? You, stuffed crust. You like stuffed crust? I'm not. Oh, stuffed crust? I have to be in the mood for have it. Have you... Yeah. Stuffed crust is like... Oh, garlic and herb crust? Oh, yeah. Mm. Are you just talking about Pizza Hut crust? Garlic <laughs> and herb or garlic Parmesan crust? I think they have it at Hungry Howie's, too. Like no, they have, it, they have it at Dom- uh, Domino's. You can get that brushed on your crust. Yeah. Um, so, you have Shout you tried pineapple? Listen, in the past, I've been very, very resilient in the fight for no pineapple on pizza. However, nowadays, I'm a little more open to it. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> He's making it sound like it's like butt stuff. He's like, you know, when I was younger, I was very adamant. I, I wasn't. No, adamant. no. Pineapple but now I'm getting a little pizza. older, you know. I'm willing to try some things out. Spice, <laughs> spice up my pizza life. Yeah. <laughs> my pizza well, life's see, getting a little bland. I mean, like the sweet with the with the pizza. I don't <laughs> sweet and savory. See, nah, I, I don't think it goes I don't together. get the whole like the people that don't like pineapple on pizza <laughs> are like militant. They hate pineapple on pizza <laughs> because y'all are trying to push it so but hard. But it's also like 
then just don't just don't order it. Just don't no, order. That's not I, how, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna order my that's pizza. That's not how I'm people order do my it. Pizza. People are very adamant. These pineapple people think they can just show up to your pizza party and just fucking ruin everybody's pizza. They're like, hey, make sure there's pineapple. I'm not putting pineapple on my pepperoni, yeah. and then now your pineapple juices is all on my pizza. Even if I take off the chunk, I still taste pineapple. But I think I think it's a tribalism. Like I, I, you're, yeah. you're staying to what you what you believe in. Have you ever met someone that likes anchovies on their pizza? Yes. Because I always feel like that's the, like, that option's there mostly as a joke. I, I don't, I've seen some people eat anchovies. But, like, but I have too, because my dad will, he does not order it often, but I have seen it once. Yeah. And he used to have the can of anchovies, open oh, them up and like. I don't mind anchovies. Oh, like a fucking seal? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I like anchovies. Singer songwriter. <laughs> Yo, there's a clap right there. Um, yeah, I like anchovies. I don't song? eat it like that, but I, if it's on pizza, I'm, I might. I might eat some. Anchovies? Yeah. I've never had one. Huh? I've never had one. Sardines. Ugh. Ugh. What is it, even a oh, sardine? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. He had the sardines. Yeah, in the can. In yeah, the can, okay, not the anchovies in the can. But can't you get anchovies in a can? I'm sure they're the same. Thing. Are they not the same thing? Are they both little fish? I say both. They're both little fish. Yeah. Are That's they fine. different they're fish? They're just two different types of little fishes that you yeah. keep in a can. And Are those the fish that you kind of like get a net to scoop them and then you just kind of like throw them in a bucket and say, I caught anchovies? Is that how you fish for it? Like, I don't see any fishermen with like a bait and reel trying to. I got really? that anchovy. <laughs> There's a lot of uses for anchovies and sardines. They're good for uh, healing wounds. Uh, uh, fish oil. Fish oil. Like a lot of fish oil companies, they use the oil from the anchovies and from the sardines to produce fish oil. Oh, is that what? what? But like also sardines eating, in a can. Like those capsules, right? It, they can preserve it for a long time. Yeah, yeah, the capsules. But eating. Eating too. As a matter of fact, a nice uh, Caesar salad dressing, a lot of them. Oh, yeah. They are made with anchovies. I do have know anchovies. That. I do know. I, that took me for a loop when I found that out. I was really thrown off because I, I was like, I love Caesar salad dressing. Yeah. And I was like, I heard someone once, this, I was like eating, and I'm like, this is a good dressing. Someone's like, it's a little too anchovy for my taste. I went, oh, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> is there anchovies in this? Like, there's anchovies in all of them. <laughs> Head explodes. Caesar <laughs> loved anchovies. It's written in all the Roman documents. <laughs> It was like the great Roman Caesar loved anchovies. That's how he died, actually. He was eating an anchovy dressed salad, and then that guy came up <laughs> and stabbed him. Yeah, his head exploded. He said, hey, do you want any more dressing? He and said that he wanted, was like, he wanted anchovies yes. on his pizza. He's like, can I get it more anchovy? And then he asked, he asked for a pineapple on his pizza, and the guy said, I had enough. I had enough of your tyranny. <laughs> your tyranny. <laughs> Just... Whack the, oh, and now we got the haircut and the salad dressing. Oh, the Caesar. Yep. Yeah. Is that the thing? People the Caesar and cut? the pizza. Yeah. No, I know it's a cut, but like, do people rock that anymore? Yeah, yeah. that's that's normal. It's, it's just a normal a fade. It's just a flat top. No, I think it's more the fade. Oh, yeah, with the fade. I thought it was something else. The fade is a, the Caesar fade. This was. I've heard about. of it, but like, if it's you like, ask me what it is, I wouldn't know. If you see anybody but with like he low he, hair, he never had. A, he didn't like have three. a Caesar cut. So it's why a, is it, it called that? It's a short fade. My boy was in there. They had the they had the sharpen the blade. He was sitting there getting the Caesar had <laughs> the getting, ball top and like how the, do you the know, friars. How, nook. <laughs> how do you know what Caesar was rocking? <laughs> because I've seen statues. No, bro. They was they was out there uh, fading my dog up, giving him that clean cut. They're getting the blade at the end and putting a little powder on his edges. He had the and freshest. He's like, he's like, he did it himself. He's like, I'm gonna call this one the Caesar. Yeah. Tell ooh. me, is that? Yeah, I don't. Look at that Caesar. Yeah. Look at That's that. a Caesar. It's short on the sides. Look. Got a little hair on the top. He's bald. I don't know if it's also... called the Caesar fade because of Julius Caesar, but that's a short yeah. haircut. That's a short haircut. That's, that's a Caesar. I've seen so many dudes rocking that. No, I like not, this caption of this picture. That's not a new Caesar. 3D reconstruction reveals Julius Caesar basically looked like. <laughs> That's not a Caesar right there. <laughs> hey, hey, Craig, did you finish that uh that 3D representation of Julius Caesar? It's like, yeah, here you go, boss. 
that's what he. I think he would look like. I guess I don't know. My my question is, how do we know what people did in like caveman times? Where like anthropologists and archaeologists will be like, this is how they lived. How do we know that? How do we? We're just taking a guess. Science, science tells us. Like, oh, they were very aggressive. Like, how do we know how their personality traits Because of their bone structures. You can see that they had very sharp canines that would let you know that they were into meat eating and into fighting. You would see that their bones were shattered and or uh, deformed in different ways for battle and defense. And we were like, wow, this tribe would have to do a lot. Like, wow, it's crazy. Yeah. Some tribes would break down their teeth to look scarier. But like And the remains of like the animals around them and stuff like that. How how do we know? Some some tribes would take the teeth of saber teeth. Study. Saber tooths. I mean a bunch of saber tooth tigers. Saber teeth? Saber teeth. You take a bunch of saber teeth. Like, I guess. I guess I my, know. my I point being like, tigers. I'm sure there is a way we know <laughs> no, this I information. That's funny. There, there is a way we know this information. However, like, how do we like? I don't know. Take a take an anthropology class. Same and, with like when we're like looking at planets like billions of light years away yeah. with our limited like prehistoric telescopes because they are not that advanced, and we're like. Uh, this we don't have advanced telescopes, is that what you're saying? Well, like, are compared to, for the, like, to look advanced? billions of years, light years away, you know, we barely get, know our solar system, but we can look at a planet on the other side of the galaxy and be like, it rains glass there. It's like, how, how do we know that? Because that is like a thing. There's like, oh yeah, there's planets that rain glass. How do we know? How can we see? Th- like, how do we know for a fact? Science. Are you going to prove us wrong? Are you going to stop us? That's yeah. what they're saying. They're like, what are you going to do? Are you going to fly to that planet and tell us it doesn't rain glass? It rains glass, AJ. Now go and back inside. As, and and as someone who doesn't it. understand the science, yeah. you know, it's up to the knowing it. And, knowing and once, it. once again, I, I believe they know somehow, yeah. but I wish they, like, explained, we know because blank. Do they you? Do. Oh, okay. Do you are pay you attention in science class? Wait, I also don't read you, scientific uh, journals. <laughs> Where yeah, probably go into- that's that's just it. You don't look into yeah. it. You're just like it glass. Whatever. I'm you not. I'm not dismissing the glass. You're I'm just more. How do we know? I always you, like that. How? Why don't you so look in to see what? Why? I also don't care that much. Yeah. Like if you're not telling me in the same breath, I kind of will be like. Yeah. So you. So, so you genuinely saying? don't care. No, you're saying I, I, that you wonder. You're you're like. Oh, I shouldn't say that. No. I actually did realize I have a toxic trait. Um. I will Google stuff the moment it pops in my head, oh, like random stuff, and it's like. Me too. I do that too. But I have to drop what I'm doing. I was watching a movie last night. My phone was in my room charging, and I thought of something random, and it was like, I I can't even remember what it was, but I went, "How does this work?" And I had to like get up, pause the movie, go look. I'm like, I do that all the time. I forgot what it was. I don't have to do that. And look, what you don't have saying, to do that because you, you know everything. You don't. You don't care. No, I just. Like, if I don't know, I'm just like... You don't care? No. I don't know. If I find, like, interest in something, I definitely want to understand Like, if it I need to know what it is, I'm like, all right, let me Google this. Cause well, I'm, like, I, I'm just very big on, like, how things work, why things happen that way. Like Very inquisitive. Yeah. I, I always like to know the very how and why. Young mind. Like, why do we do this this way? How... Then how come, how come you didn't research why the glass was raining on that planet billions of light years away? I mostly use that as an example. <laughs> Uh, it just didn't like strike me as something where I'm like until this very moment yeah. that I had this conversation. Of, Plus, like, you're never gonna visit that planet, so it's like. But it was more like to my ears. I heard it, I believed it, I didn't think anything of it. But when talking in this moment, I went, hmm. "Now I'm curious. How do we know that?" Like, it wasn't. I didn't think of the yeah. why until now. Now I'll probably stop and then go check it out. Hmm. And yeah, I was like, I don't know. I, I'm, but yeah, I'm very much like I have to always look things up and like how things happen or like random facts. Like, yeah, I get like that too. Where as soon as Shit was I think of something, yeah, and it's like yeah. I want to know the answer to it. And that's the day, that's the age that we live in, where we can just Google anything. That information yeah. is in the palm, in our pockets. What are you gonna do the day it's not? 
What if there was a big technological fallout? I've thought about that because I, I've honestly considered like if there was like some kind of apocalypse, right? Yeah. We're all screwed. Like <laughs> both survival, like I feel yeah. like none of us know those skills Speak to like for yourself, dude. Survive I watch Bear fully. He's a country boy. I watch Bear Grylls every week. But also I feel like our bodies are so used to like processed food like i don't know if like we went straight to vegetables and meat like oh dude that's like the one thing i can't i'm not ready for what? like having to go back to that animalistic like, yeah eating meat like just oh get over here and wait i don't want to do that but, like, i think my, i would like, go straight mcdonald's vegan if it came to that. you can eat vegetables no i'd go straight vegan if it came down to that because right now i can eat meat because there's a yeah there's a curtain between oh meat. okay you don't want to be the one butchering no, See, it's not even butchering. It's just the animalistic way of getting in there. And you're like, that's ah. the that's the hunt. That's yeah. the. But I, I'd be all right with hunting something. But I think. my my whole thing. I'll hunt like, if I have to. Yeah. Uh, if Mc, I had McDonald's to, like, is all processed. Like that's yeah. not a real meat. Like they yeah. didn't that didn't come straight from the cow. It's pumped with chemicals. A yeah. lab made it taste delicious. No. However, are you telling me that meat. my chicken nuggets? Aren't made from 100% white meat chicken? Because that's what the box says. But, but like, if we had that's to go straight to says. non-processed <laughs> food, I don't think our bodies would, like, handle it well. Like, our, we're so used to it. Our tum-tums Ooh, would hurt. I mean, not everybody. For Some the most people, part. Deal yeah, on. most people, I would say, yeah. Most I would people. say 90% of the people in the U.S., or yeah. more, probably 99% of the people in the U.S., yeah. eat processed food. For you're sure. eating junk food. You're eating thing, everything. It doesn't matter how organic it is it's still processed it has chemicals it's gmos all this stuff so if we went straight to planting seeds picking that apple off the tree and eating it like eventually our I bodies mean, are going to be like there are a lot of people who just try to stray away from processed food and stuff like that but i feel like it's really hard like even fruits yeah. and vegetables in the grocery store are still processed they're tampered with yeah so it's kind of like everything is tampered with yeah like so going fully without that I feel like our bodies at some point are used to it. You would have to farm your own. <laughs> yeah. Just to yeah. make sure that you get it 100% organic. Well, like I even, think, even I think... milk. Something that, like, it should just be coming from the cow, like, is not. It shouldn't it just... be coming from the cow. You shouldn't be drinking cow's milk. Cows are not your mother. It's and disgusting. to be honest, you shouldn't be drinking milk in the first place. But do, And do you know? Fruit juice is still sugar and all this extra stuff. There is barely anything that you read the label and it goes like, Three things. Everything has chemicals. Crackers, bread, everything. So Water just has like one ingredient. But not even necessarily. Sometimes they add fluoride in it. <laughs> so it's they like add, I just like extra salt and like different stuff to it. And once again, no, water, water filtered is filtered water, through chemicals. Water's filtered. So when the apocalypse happens and we can't drink bottled water run through a filter and we're going straight to the lake and our body's not used to all that bacteria and stuff that's usually filtered out, we're not surviving. Like, well, I think we'll have a shortage of food before. Like, because all our ground and stuff, all, all our dirt and like the ground that, that we use has been like sprayed with pesticides and all of it has been messed mess with. So, do you, uh, do you think you would eat anybody in this room if it came down to it in an apocalypse? In this room? In this room. <laughs> like, I have, we have no other choice. Like, we've, we can't find someone. We've been in the apocalypse for 10 years now. We've we've pushed as far as we can go. Our backs are against, it's cold. 100%. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that was no hesitation. Yeah, he's 100%. <laughs> and it really doesn't matter which one. Yeah. If anything, I would probably talk one of you guys into killing and eating the other one, and then eventually I would turn on the one like after the first body was done. No. <laughs> what if me and D'Lo well, turned and ate you? Just made yeah, a brother pack. That, that white meat. Yeah. I like white meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dark meat's not good for your heart, you know. I don't know. It's uh, I I think one hundred percent. If if it came to Yo, surviving, I would do anything. Nah, you already know he's a savage, so. Yeah. We taking them out quick, yeah, like show. You just quick, showed, like you, you just showed your cards, your bro. true colors. You I'm being honest. Sorry. I'm you, saying you failed the test. We're taking you out is, easily. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. You, you guys are eventually gonna have to turn. Like that's the point. You eat one person that you, you're not drawing a hard line. Going well now, like well we'll have a. There's three of us. We ate one. 
but now I'm hungry again. <laughs> but I can't be a guy who ate two people. Like, no. <laughs> the, the line between eating gotta, zero people okay. and one person you gotta is like, you gotta like but, but we have middle. we have a while to think about it. We'll just, you know, coast on your, your yeah. skin and bones yeah. for a while. Like, if you killed that. me and ate me, would you turn on him eventually? If I had to. <laughs> and that's my point. A beat him with your femur and just... <laughs> And just fucking call it. My day. my point. That was my <laughs> point. Like eventually, like going from no people, no eating, no people to eating one person is a huge leap. <laughs> but after you eat one person, eating two people is yeah. not that crazy. Yeah. Like, I ate another and I another and did. a sister and a brother. Yeah, I I already ate a person, so I guess I can eat one more. Like it's like it's like chips. You can't yeah. just have one. <laughs> But going from no people to one person, that's that's a like yo, like that yeah. we're talking crazy. But the moment you eat someone, yeah, you'll probably keep on. Eating. See, I was gonna try to stick to like vegetables and stuff like that, but I'm coming after you first. Yeah. Cause you're gonna try to come after me. He's on day one. Cause I was the apocalypse I, now. I was I was <laughs> let's just handle that. Just I, was, no. I was thinking about alternatives, but I, I would I would definitely wait. It would have to be like we ran out of res- like resources because I do think the more you have in a group... As a matter of fact, I might I might just take you out just for the sake of just taking you the, out. The more you have in a group, the more likely you are to survive. Until you hit a point where you have too many people and not enough resources. Yeah. You have diminishing returns. But if three people, like, that makes... Like, hey, you work on food. You work on, like, shelter. I work on, like, fishing. Something like that. Like Why you get to sit on your ass all day and just hold a pole? You got me over here building and him over there fucking getting other food. I mean, if we're the last three people, though, what's the point of living? What's the point of, we can like, procreate. killing each other? Procreate? Who? There's no one else. There's... <laughs> well, I'm also thinking more not apocalypse, but, like, a, we're stranded on an island situation. Like, Yeah, I mean, we're, we can't repopulate hey, you, you if work, it's just us three. I'll work on so, food. You work on shelter. You work on some kind of rescue situation, like a raft or, like... And while I'm working on that, SOS you're going to hit me over the head with a club. Yeah. No, that's only, and like... he's going to be like, look, I've got a lot of fish. And like going to be like, going from, oh, yeah? Going, going from zero people I eating... Think, I like, I couldn't you. eat someone easily. Yeah. However, if I got to the point that I had to eat someone, you I could eat two. You said 100%. <laughs> Without now, a doubt. Now. Let, if, but he said, like, we're starving. Like, this is, we've been on the island let, for four years. And we r- ran out of coconuts to eat off the trees. We have nothing else. There's no fish. Yeah, I'm probably going to eat some. There is no uh, way to get a fire or any kind of heat. So you can't cook the meat. Does that change your answer? No, because I, I feel... No, go, no, 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 sorry, no. I'm raw? You, sorry, sorry. A savage. Yes, it does. You're going to eat as raw? I, I, meant, I meant no, like I wouldn't oh. eat because I feel like that's... We're too far done. Like we're all dying. Yeah. Like, Wait, how do you like your steak? I do like my steak rare. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, you, you just had to get in there, you know? But I feel like if we're not making I don't a... trust If him. we can't make a fire... We're not surviving. And if we're not, if all of us aren't surviving, yeah, I'm not going to eat someone. However, if there's a chance one of us can survive, <laughs> it's going to be me. It's going to be me. <laughs> Ooh. That was a nice sound. We should. It's, it's going to be me who's the one person that survives. But if we're all, like, we're all lost cause, yeah. Like, if there's no water. Okay. You got to put that Christina Aguilera, it's going to be me. Um, Isn't that uh, JT? <laughs> That's Justin Timberlake. Yeah, it's, you don't it's see the memes. It's, me. it's gonna be me. I just heard like, I don't know. I just knew it was well, something. We went a little long. Which is something I thought I would never say. So that's our episode of the Squad Goals Podcast, episode three. Uh, every Tuesday and Friday on the Squad Goals YouTube channel, you can check out the video. Or if you want to listen, you can go to Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, and iTunes. Until four or five things, I don't know. Friday, we're out. We're oh, out. I keep on hitting that. Bid you adieu. Until Friday, we're out.